So now we come to the last piece of uh, the collection, uh, The Way It Works Part 2. That's because we'd already made a similar canvas in previous months called Part 1, obviously. Mm -hmm. And The Way It Works, this was the inspiration for uh, the whole show, really, about trying to show you, the observer, how it works in the world of the London place. Um, this is the nearly the end of our podcast. I'm sure you all agree it's been... Is it, is, it, is it a podcast or is it a YouTube? Well, it's some sort of explanation. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. I mean, maybe, I reckon in the whole world, I reckon about four people would have sat through this playlist from yeah, beginning if got to end. If you got this far, you really You've are. done really You've well. Done well. You've done really well. Let's the face it. of such adversity. You've Let's done really well. It. A lot of A lot of waffle. Waffle and ridiculousness. But... In a weird way, what's wrong with embracing something that's whimsical and fun? It doesn't have to, nothing's that serious, is There's it? There's nothing wrong with that, Bob. No. Um, and as you said, the way it works, this is obviously some sort of scientific process going on yeah, here. Yeah, monitoring, are they testing him? It seems where the number usually is, he's now a compartment with all these different pipes and stuff coming out. We've got the squill ads again in the, in the tanks. And Well, can I ask you a question, Chaz? I mean, does every lad when they have their number, does that hatch open? And are we seeing, we see a lot of this, a robotic inside to that. Is that always, it's are good, they always robotic? a good robotic? question. And the, and the point is that I, I, I can't answer it because we're still building this, this fantasy world of London Place. There's so many questions that are left to be asked. Mm. And that's why we're happy to say we're trying at this point to make an animation. We've got a company in Amsterdam who's starting to get the characters moving. And we hope in, the, in a few years' time we might be able to actually bring out an animation, you know, showing everyone how things work in the world of the London Police. Right, so this would be sort of like a still shot of some sort of process. All, all, the, all the canvases would be still shots mm. of, of an animation, I'd like to think. Well, well, I'll tell you what I get from this, Chinny, and maybe you can help me out here. Is that <coughs> for me, the, the lad character that Chaz draws and uh, the, the round, smiley, happy face is very smooth. It's very, very far removed from anything te like technology based, and then so we got this big juxtaposition between this sort of very scientific technology, technology based um, apparati, and then the lad itself. <laughs> what do you make of that? Uh, what was the beginning of the question? <laughs> nice, nice, uh, nice usage of the word itself. Um, I, th I think that it, it, there's a nice interesting link there between technology and organic and I think in, in, in my mind some of the lads are organic and some of them maybe are built like the one in the lad wasn't built in a day that maybe was a gigantic robotic version of a lad maybe maybe there is all, all, all parts in between you know it's like a, like Chad said there is these layers still to be discovered questions to be answered please because that's the way it that's goes. That's the way it works. That it is. And that's the way it works. Boom, boom. In the world. Boom, boom. Of the London place. Boom, boom. That's the way it works. Everybody. That's the way it works. It works. Boom. In the world. Boom, boom. Of the London place. Boom, boom. That's the way it works. So all those ladies. That's the way it works. Everybody. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Let's go to some wine. Let's have a lunch.